I am very excited to introduce two other guests uh, with us today. Jim Kennedy, a bat biologist with Bat Conservation International, and Diane Odegaard, a bat educator with uh, Bat Conservation International. And they have brought a very special guest uh, to uh, introduce to you tonight. Jim and Diane, thanks so much for being here, and thanks thank so you. much for having us. Thank it's great to be here. Right. Sandy, this is a Mexican free-tailed bat. This is a juvenile, it was born this year, and this is a, an injured bat. It's, it's, mm -hmm. It can't survive in the wild. This is a bat that was brought to Diane. Diane's a certified wildlife rehabilitator, mm -hmm. and she cares for sick and injured bats, and if they're healthy enough when she's done, she puts them back out in the wild and they, and they live the rest of their life naturally. This bat, however, had a broken wing that Diane was able to fix, and it isn't going to be ever strong enough to go out mm -hmm. and hunt and feed for itself. So it's going to live at Diane's house for the rest of its life, but it'll be very well cared for. Yeah. Now, I, I have to admit, this little guy is so cute. He is just adorable. And I noticed that you're handling him with gloves. So That's right. should I pet him? Right, we should. No, nope. you know, no, I should not. Uh, this is a wild animal still. Mm -hmm. Even though it, it lives at Diane's house, it's not a pet. Mm -hmm. And all wild animals can bite in self-defense. They can carry diseases. Um, and so we have to be very careful. We don't want to encourage anybody to ever go up and, and pick up a bat or handle mm -hmm. a bat. No, that, you know, that's really important. Even though they are so cute when you get to see them up close, that's so important. Never, yes, yes. ever, ever pick up the bat unless you're a wildlife educator or, or, or biologist, a bat biologist or uh, right. with this right special equipment. Well, tell us more about this little guy. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to show you some more things about the bat. I mean, bats are mammals. You know, they give birth to their young life. In fact, the baby bats are born about a third of the adult weight. Can you imagine oh that? My goodness. Uh, very oh my large. Goodness. <laughs> and they feed from the mother. Uh, mother feeds them milk, um, just like we do. And uh, within about six to eight weeks, they're out flying on their own. They are flying animals. They're the only true flying mammal. Uh, their wings, their, their hands, are modified to be wings. Diane's going to show you this here in a second. Um, this guy's a little squirmy right now. Uh, they have the same bones that we do in our hands. There's a thumb, an elbow, five fingers, but there's the fingers are stretched out. They're really long, and they have this skin membrane between them, which forms the wing and helps them fly. Mm -hmm. They also have a wing membrane between their hind feet, a little tail membrane. Oh, sorry. They have a tail membrane between their hind feet, and uh, that helps them fly and catch their insects as well. But this kind of bat has a little bit of its tail sticking out from that tail membrane, hence it's called a free-tailed bat. There's a family of bats called free-tailed bats, and that's one of the characteristics. They have five little toes on their hind feet with sharp little claws that allow them to hang to the little imperfections on the cave walls, and stiff little hairs that they use to groom themselves. 